All right, at this point you should have been able to get compound interest problems one through four completed. So let's begin this video by taking a look at uh, answers I came up with for this. Uh, here was the first one that we did. And this is your, uh, on your sheet, it's compound interest problem one, but it's the same as the demo. And so hopefully when you practiced it, you came up with the same answer. And what I want to show you here is that one way just to check your work to make sure that you've calculated the correct compounded interest amount. So you'll recall that what we have been doing here is taking the previous amount of interest earned and adding it to the new interest. And so we're calling that the compounded interest amount because we've done this simple interest formula, I equals PRT, for more than one period of time. And so we're adding those interest amounts together. So this amount is the same as adding these two together here. But the way we're doing it is just to simply take the previous compounded amount and adding it to the new one. So the other way that that could be calculated, and a way you could do a check to see that you're that these cells and that your formula is communicating properly is that we could take the ending account balance at the end of the compounding period and subtract the original principal amount. And so the difference between this and this should be the amount of interest that was earned for those compounding periods. So the way we could simply do that is just equal sign, take the ending account balance, subtract it from the beginning principal amount and if we did our calculations correctly those two numbers should be equal. So let's take a look at problem two. Here we're looking at a principal amount of $890 5% for three years and our Ending account balance is 1,030.29, and the compounded interest amount is $140.29. And once again, we could check our work by taking the ending account balance and subtract the beginning principal amount. And indeed, oops, those two numbers are the same. And I noticed that I did not format those as currency, so I'll get that done right now. That looks better. Problem three. Ending account balance. So this one was compounding periods for four years compounded annually, which means yearly, so that means that if we're doing it for four years and compounding annually, remember, this compounding tells you how many times to apply this formula. So if it's annually, it's once a year, and if it's for four years, that means we're going to do it four times. So the ending account balance was 6547 dollars and 43 cents and the compound interest amount one thousand five hundred fifty two dollars and forty three cents and once again we can check our work ending account balance minus the beginning principal and the two numbers agree problem four we have an ending account balance of $3,235.75 and a compounded interest amount of $435.75. Check that work. Ending account balance minus the principal, the starting amount, and they are the same. So there you go. Hopefully you came up with the same numbers. If you didn't, take a look. See if you can find what it is that's causing some uh, differences. And then uh, if you need some help, call me over and we'll take a look at it.